What is going on, everyone? I am Josh with 625 Media, and it's Vlog Sunday. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like that. <laughs> I've been struggling with that, but uh, this week we're going to talk about lessons and taking a break. Is it really the best thing for me? I don't know, but this is from the attic. And welcome, welcome, welcome to this wonderful gathering of like and unlike minds. <laughs> uh, it is Vlog Sunday, and it's been, I guess, it's been the end of two weeks that have just really, really got me thinking. <laughs> really got me thinking about where we're headed. And it's not even because our efforts have been bad. It's life. You know, we talked about it last week. You know, I had a short week. And this week was also kind of a short week because of life. Um, and it's got me thinking about vacation. <laughs> uh, but we're going to talk about that in depth here in a little bit. But first, let's talk lessons. Yes. So what did we learn this week when it comes to the side hustle game or voiceover or trying to make money. <laughs> uh, Fiverr. Fiverr is a complete waste of time right now. Oh my. Oh my. So I got another message last night on Fiverr and it was someone saying, hi, I'm a web developer designer from China and I want to work with clients in the United States. Basically, can you launder the money or be a conduit for the money? <laughs> um, yeah, they immediately got blocked. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. And that's been the last two messages I've got on Fiverr. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's even worth it anymore. I mean, we get, we get some views. I mean, I can see those stats and the messages we get are people who think that I am so gullible. I'm like, yeah, sure. You, you can drop me 50 bucks and I'll launder your money. No, that's basically what it sounded like. And I can go to prison for that. Um, <laughs> patience does pay off. So to kind of piggyback off of, off of the whole fiber thing, um, Upwork had been something that I'd signed up for, but I really, I hadn't gotten any kind of response out of it. Even some of the, the jobs that I had, up, you know, put in a proposal for like no response. Uh, so last night I got a message on Upwork inviting me to interview for a job that's posted there. It looks like it's really, they're collecting voiceover talent for audiobooks. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, so I definitely responded to that. So, you know, having a little bit of patience, sticking with it does pay off. Also, we need to put the amount of time that we've, that we've put forward for this effort. Uh, we need to put that in perspective because we can do something. If we do a lot of something in a short period of time, it can feel like we've done it for a while. Uh, but for like voiceover, we've really only done this for about a month, month and a half, really actively seeking, seeking jobs, really actively auditioning and putting that in perspective makes it feel a lot better that, oh, okay. Yeah. So it took me a month and a half to get some kind of response. That's okay. That's okay. Um, you need a break sometimes. And I'm going to co contradict this here in just a moment, but yes, you definitely need a break. Um, and that kind of ties into the next bullet. Because when you take a break away from it, it can, it can clear your perspective and it can make it almost as if you're looking at it from the outside again. And it allows you to be critical. Now, what I learned about being critical is that it can actually be encouraging. Um, we have this tendency to think of criti critical comments or constructive criticism we can get defensive about that, especially if it comes from somewhere else. Uh, but if you've taken a step back from something and gotten a new perspective or a fresh perspective, um, it is constructive criticism from an outside source, or it can be. Um, this week, I got a chance to do a little bit of that and not really actively, just kind of just thinking about it in my head, like, you know, is this really working? Uh, should I consider doing this instead? Um, it's given me a little bit more energy to put forward into things like the blog or how I, how I'm putting together content. Um, and that kind of some sub, some sub points here. Don't fear failure. Um, 
In fact, don't even be afraid to say the word failure because we do fail sometimes. We succeed and we fail. Uh, But failure can be our best teacher. And if we fear it and we stay in a comfort zone or we we do things as small scale as possible to where we know we're not going to fail, we don't learn anything. We don't grow from that. And then also you need to be honest about it in order for it to really have the the effect or or allow you to grow the way that you need to grow. So being honest with yourself about about the work that you're doing and what does work, what doesn't work, and then also being critical. Be critical of it because you want it to be good, right? You don't want to put out something that's bad and just be like, eh, yep, I put it out. You don't want to do that. So those are the lessons this week. Nothing nothing earth shattering there. I mean, they're lessons that we learn in life, you know, in anything. And sometimes, sometimes we can forget those things and having a chance to look at your perspective and to step away from your perspective um, can be helpful and help reteach or reinforce those lessons. Uh, One lesson that I've, I've learned over the last few years is Sometimes you need to take a break. And usually when we talk about taking a break, uh, you know, it, it, it deals with work. You know, we take vacation, you know, paid vacation time is a very coveted benefit here in the United States when it comes to, you know, your job. I, I have that luxury. I get paid vacation, paid personal time, paid sick time. And, you know, it, it, it helps. It helps break it up. It helps gives you uh, you know, a little bit of a break from the day to day. But sometimes we can forget to do that when it comes to our passion projects. And, you know, this, yeah, it's a side hustle for me. I'm trying to make it a lucrative side hustle for me, but it's also a passion project. I like doing these things. Uh, so when you have a project like that, it can be hard to step away and take a break from it because you want you want it to be good. You want it to be consistent. And you want, you know, you want it to be now. You want it to succeed almost immediately. Um, so I need to remember to do that. Now, here is the contradiction to that. The last couple of weeks, I've been forced to step away from, from these things. Not totally, but step away in a way that I hadn't done before. And that's really pick and choose the things that I that I should do this week that are going to give me the most output. Um, it seems like something that would make sense. We want to choose the things that are going to give us the most output, but I was really down to like a bare bones activity week. Uh, so I did some user testing this week. And of course, I've done the vlog Sunday. I, I uploaded uh, Workout Wednesday. Uh, but I really didn't get to any of the other things. Like this week would have been the week that I would have filmed the next set of Workout Wednesday episodes. I didn't get to that this week. Um, so I may have to do it next week and, you know, cram to get some things edited. Um, which really started getting me thinking, you know, do I want, should I just take a break from that for a couple of weeks? You know, really put in the effort to film, you know, something quality and make sure that, you know, the next sets of episodes are of even better quality than the previous ones, which I think they're getting better. Um, or do I rush to make sure that I'm hitting that content schedule? Um, I'm wrestling with that a little bit, and I'll probably make an announcement next week on that. Um, but it's gotten me thinking a little bit more about, you know, is a break really a good thing? Uh, because I've noticed that this week that, you know, even though it was a forced break, I didn't make the decision to be like, you know what, I need to take a break because I just need to refresh. I needed to take a break because I needed to take care of life. Um, and it's kind of given, put this like malaise over everything over the last couple of weeks. Just like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Even even with this episode of Log Sunday, I I thought about what I was going to say, but usually I have a full outline. You know, I know exactly what points I want to hit. And I came into this a little bit more freeform because of that malaise. Um, It's not because I don't care. I I like doing this. Again, this is a passion project. Um, But it's almost the same feeling as if I were burnt out on it. And I know that I'm not burnt out because I'm not having that, oh, I don't want to do it. But it is the same thing 
as far as the procrastination part of it. Because when you're burnout, you, you, you know you still have to do A, B, and C. But your, your motivation to do it is just, uh, I'll do it at some point. And that's kind of what this, the last couple of weeks have been for me. Uh, I'll do it at some point. I want to do them so badly, but I just, I don't have the mental energy to do it. And even though I had a break from this, I, you know, the, there was no break outside of that. So I didn't do this, but that time and that energy, um, you know, was, was displaced somewhere else. So it isn't necessarily this burnt me out, but I think life burnt me out a little bit and put that kind of laziness into what's, what's been going on. So is taking a break the best thing? Because I don't want it to get worse, but maybe I need to recharge. Maybe I need to spend some time away to continue to get a fresher perspective, to become an outsider again and really evaluate what I'm doing. We've talked about this the last couple of weeks, you know, um, and the term I used was cut the fat. This isn't necessarily about cutting the fat. This is about improving upon the processes we have. Because I think, I think at this point, our efforts are in the right places and we're doing the right things. Um, there's some other things that we, we want to add in there. Um, you know, we got some other content there. You know, I'd like to make some tweaks to the blog. I'd like to, you know, change the structure of the blog a little bit to make it more of a marketing tool rather than just like a news feed. Um, but I'll be toying with that idea. And it's not like I don't have content that I can't post because remember, you know, we've, we've got, We've, we've put together those, those segments from previous vlog Sundays to be able to reuse as, you know, just some commentary blog content. Uh, so be on the lookout for that, at least my break. <laughs> uh, but I'm probably going to start uploading some of those videos this week as well, uh, just in case. I haven't made that decision fully yet, but I think that, I, that might be coming soon. Um, and I feel like I'm in a good position to do that outside of the blog because let's, let's think about this. I've got one offer that I'm just waiting for it to come through for an audiobook. Um, I just got an invitation to interview for, for an audiobook reading on Fiverr, or not Fiverr, but Upwork last night. I've got seven other auditions just waiting for a response. Uh, so if I, you know, hit it real heavy, am I going to give myself too many projects? And my fear right now, and it's a good fear to have. My fear right now is that those seven other auditions are going to come back and they'll be like, yeah, we want you. So then I'm going to have maybe seven, eight projects going on at once. Um, am I really going to have time to produce content for the blog? Not really, um, because those are, those are paying gigs and they're going to want their, they're going to want their stuff. Uh, so I'm going to be toying with that, but I want to, I want to ask you the question and because I know we've all felt burnout. When you feel burnout, do you feel the same kind of feeling as if maybe you took a break and you just don't, don't want to come back to work when you, when you take a vacation? Are they the same thing? Are they connected? Because if you're burnout and you take a vacation, of course you're not going to want to come back. Uh, some, people, you know, some people I've worked with before, we've had that conversation like, I didn't want to come back because we were burnt out from our jobs. So is it maybe that you know, having a little bit of life burnout, taking that break has made me go, uh, it can wait. I, you know, I'm in no, I, I don't want to be in a hurry. Maybe that's the feeling I'm having, but I'd like to hear your opinions on that. Uh, but that's all we've got this week. A very short week. Um, very, very light. You know, we're not talking about stats anymore. We're just talking about really just philosophical lessons that we're learning as we try to Follow, follow our dreams, I guess. I don't know. Nah. But as always, thank you for joining me this week. Uh, check out Wednesday. We got, we got one more episode of Workout Wednesday. Um, I'll be actually reading real estate commercial scripts. Yes, real estate. It, it has nothing to do with this time of year. But, uh, you know, I thought it'd be fun. That'd be fun to read them. It kind of was. They're not the most exciting, but 
Again, our friends at Voices.com have been so gracious to uh, allow us to read those scripts. And you can always find out when those pieces of wonderful content and any other new content come out by following us on social media. That's right. Follow us on all the social medias. Follow every single one of them. All right, I'm Josh. I am, I've got some other things to do today, but I'm glad I could spend this time with you. I'll see you next week.